hey guys what's going on and today we're gonna be talking about kind of world war ii and what i think about it and the live stream so first of all we'll start off with the live stream talking about that my opinions on like the times and everything so it was in my facts class and the live stream started like and me and my friends were pretty big like we wanted to throw in for the next call of duty and everything and we were like okay we may watch this but it was on twitch and twitch doesn't really work that well on mobile then I looked up World War II, or Call of Duty World War II on YouTube, and I literally scrolled down through the page and just showed random people live streaming it. Like, a lot of them had, like, around 30 viewers, but some of them also had, like, 10,000 viewers and stuff. I was like, they're literally just restreaming something that the Call of Duty is streaming. Like, it makes no sense to me. My friend, he said he watched the entire live stream, and he said it was kind of boring. Like, they just didn't really talk about it too much, but... I watched the trailer and it looks pretty cool. Like I'm gonna be pretty hyped for it. Like it, you, if you haven't seen my Twitter header yet, it was made by uh, a f it, it's like Opella or something like that, or something like that. I don't know how to say his name. I'll put his um the, his Twitter at on screen along with the header that he made. But yeah, I'm I'm super psyched for this. I'm gonna get it on my Xbox One. If any of you are gonna get it on your Xbox One, tell me, and we can probably play with each other or something. Cause I'm definitely beginning some gameplays and maybe playing some of the campaign and stuff. I don't know, but like it, it just seems like a pretty fun game and stuff. But like, why did they do it at one like on Wednesday at twelve? Like they should do it on a weekend or something. Cause on a weekday, like half the people are gonna be at school. Like some or spring break's long gone for me. Like it was like a month and a half ago. Some people had just gone over like last week. And summer break, nobody's on summer break yet, unless they're like a high schooler or something like that. So most of the adults are the only ones that are watching it, unless the kids are like sneaking into the bathroom watching it, which I'm pretty sure a, quite a couple people at my school have done that, like, to watch that. Like, my friend said he may just skip school to watch it, which I would have been surprised if he did. But honestly, I think they're going to make a pretty good Call of Duty this year. Like, I, th I think it's going to help me grow my channel too, because I'll be playing a new Call of Duty instead of my Ghost that I play. But seriously, like, I mean, I, I can't wait for this because I've grown up on the o uh, older Call of Duties, not the jetpack game. Like, I have BO3, but I'm absolutely garbage at that game. Like, I played on the Xbox a couple times against my cousin, and then I played it online on my computer, and it's just not fun to me. Like, <clears throat> no, like, no hate to the jetpackers. Like, I know jetpackers and stuff, no hate to them. But personally, I'm just more of a boots on the ground person. Like, I know, I think Classified, he said he was a jetpacker, but he was excited for this one, which I can understand. Like, I, I, I'm i more of a boots-on-the-ground person, but I was kind of excited for uh, BO3 when it first came out. Like, that's the only um, jetpacking game I can really take. Like, I can't take any of the Infinite Warfare or Advanced Warfare. I really wasn't into Call of Duty when those came out. I was more into Call of Duty when, like, MW3 and uh, BO3 came out, like, sort of like that. But seriously, like, I don't, I don't know. This game seems like it's going to be pretty fun. Like, I'm not exactly sure how they're going to do it. I think some people are saying there may be an own tank mode. So, like, instead of having tanks when you're, like, doing the one, like, the free-for-all or team deathmatch or something, there's going to be, like, a separate mode for it, which would be kind of cool. And this will definitely be the uh, Call of Duty that I'm ready for. Like, I'll be ready for this one. I'll be grinding it, like, when it first comes out and everything. And it comes out November 3rd, so mark that in your calendars. And also, um, cl click the like button and the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And leave some type of comment what you guys are excited for in this game. Like, something you wish to see. What I wish to see is kind of like, and hopefully it's kind of like Heroes and Generals. If you don't know what that is, I'm pretty sure I have a playlist of Heroes and Generals of gameplays I've done and stuff of it. But if not... Just scroll to the very bottom of my channel, there's probably a couple gameplays of it. There, there may not be two good videos of it, like, of these type of videos, but seriously. Like, that game was pretty fun. I think it was around World War One or 2-ish, or... It's against the Germans, Russians, and Americans. So I think that was World War One, if I'm not... if I'm correct. Because I know World War Two was with the, um, Chinese people, so... I think... Uh, I think that was it then, yeah. So, yeah. If you want me to do some Heroes in Generals practicing for call the new Call of Duty or something like that, comment down below and I may do that. But this week, I'm, I am got a lot of good videos coming up. Like, I already have all my commentaries ready and everything. 
and they're pretty good commentaries. So hopefully you guys are excited for those, and I like to keep mine short, so I'll see you guys later. Peace out.